out, there's a jungle out, there's a there's a there's a jungle out, in out, there's a there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on, a jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down. We gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our mind for crime Watch if you really, really wanna stop crime Be safe in your home, be safe in the street It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat I never wear gold, cause summer's always peeping by the fence It's still crime, watch game and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new the king Take me friendly on the phone so you can call us We ain't gonna call you back, say they don't know if you call us Sing what you gonna do now, we all come with you now There's a jump a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We're gonna hunt you down We're gonna hunt you down There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We're gonna hunt you down We're gonna hunt you down We're gonna come we ain't playing It's the last thing on our minds for crime Watch if you really Hi, hi, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch. And we are back top of the evening to you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a Monday. Everybody's looking forward to Monday. Everybody's looking forward to Crime Watch. Remember, you can follow me on Facebook. Remember, you can uh, download the app. However, just to let you all know that the, our, our um, fan page, sorry, website is under construction. It should be up and running in a month time. We're just trying to improve it and make sure that you, the viewers, and people who support Crime Watch, you know, we are putting more stuff there so you can make more reports. Just, just you know, expanding on everything here. Ladies and gentlemen, also, in fact, remember, follow me on Facebook. And if you, if, if you need to look at previous programs, you can just go to Ian Allen live stream. There are all the descriptions and all the different programs we had. So... First thing first, mash up. I'm going to tell you mash up, I'm mashing up. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I want to touch, you know, there are questions. I want to, you know, before we go further, let me just touch on the Chief Justice a bit. I read an article on the, on the, on the Sunday Express, a favor for a friend. All right? A favor for a friend. But nevertheless, they said on the 2nd, the 3rd, the 4th, the 5th, they were trying to get in contact with Dylan Johnson. During the course of this program, we're going to touch on this, and believe me, because everybody wants to know about this. This Chief Justice and the convict, Archie Court trying to get judges to change their security in favor of a close friend. Front page, all right? Front page of the Express. This is the Express saying this, not me, just to let you all know. This is the Express saying that uh, the Chief Justice and the convict, and I don't think some of you missed it, but nevertheless, today there are questions that we would like to ask, and I am asking on behalf of the citizens of this country that the people who don't have a voice, the people who depend on our, on our legal system and, and then depend on the courts and whatnot, Making sure that when they go to court that, you know, they get justice. There are people who like to ask questions. And there are people, but they just don't have a platform. So this is their platform. Crime Watch is their platform. Ian Allen is their voice. But before we get to that, just to let you all know, on a murder, murder toll for, 27, for 2017, 418. And just to let you all know, there was a break-in a while ago. At a, news before the news. This is news before the news. President of the Foreign News Association. I believe he lives at Columbus Circle Launch Park. Over $600,000 in cash and jewelry taken from his home. Just to let you all know, police are currently on the scene. So Launch Park, apparently you are, you, you are on the map. Launch Park residents, you need to be very, very careful. Let me hit you to Arangwes. Arangwes businessman beaten shot to death during robbery. Chini... Sorry, <clears throat> Chinese Ningwa, 42, and a Rangwell businessman was shot dead during a robbery at his home. Um, they said uh, he was beaten on the head with a piece of wood, and in fact, with a wooden meat board and a padlock about the body several, by several armed men who robbed him of a large quantity of cash while leaving. One of the men pointed a gun at him and, and shot him twice in the chest. He died in hospital. I'm just showing you. But just to let the family know that we are paying special attention. 
I'm just showing you the area. 6714062. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. 6714062. Hi, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hello? Hi, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Ladies and gentlemen, again, a businessman beaten to death on Sunday in the Arangwes area. I'm just showing you the footage right now. This took place in the Arangwes area. And this is news before the news. Uh, foreign, the president of the Foreign News uh, Dealers Association. It's almost broken into over 600,000 cash, uh, cash and jewelry taken. Hi, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm up to now, CPA, because they're going to pay as yet. What is really going on? Well, I have been asking the minister, and I, 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 I don't know. This is a month now. CPA workers are still waiting for money. They said Friday. So let's wait again. But I, 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 but I know Rowley and them don't get their money already. Hi, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. As you can see, police are on the scene. Hi, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Go ahead. This is the Arangues area. Cora on the line. You're a caller from Cora. Hi, Cora. Good afternoon. You're live on Crime Watch. Hello. Good afternoon, Mr. Ian Allen. Good afternoon. Um, I'm calling from Guaya Guaya. Guaya Guaya. The other caller is from Cora. It's from Cora. Go ahead. Hello? Yes, go ahead. Guaya Guaya, are you on the phone? Uh-huh. Hello, go good afternoon. Good afternoon. Go ahead, ma'am. Uh, I'm calling from Guaya Guaya. I know that already. Go uh, ahead. Uh, I'm just going to say, this is, this, is, this is chaotic, man. This is very chaotic to know what's going on in the country. This killing and killing and killing. This is, out of the, out, out, this is too outrageous, man. Thank you again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you have family members consoling other relatives here. Yeah? Hi, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. They said it pronounces a chinia. Hi, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Go ahead. This is at Nanan Street in Arangwes. Hi, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Go ahead. Yeah, Mr. Allen. Good uh, evening. Good evening. Who transport and get money yet still for this whole term? Maxi taxi. What are you going on? Rowley gave money already. Thank you again. School transport that transport the children to school. They had gotten part. But imagine the building stadium. They do not sort of things, but don't worry. Uh, come back to me, please. Shooting in Chamfle. Shooting in Chamfle. One man is one man, one man dead, yet to be identified. A shooting incident in Chamfle on Saturday night. The victim is yet to be identified. This took place around 11 p.m. Re residents of Mongda Road in Chamfle heard several loud explosions. The body, uh, the body of the victim was later discovered on the roadway. Police notified upon investigating, they observed the bullet riddle body of a man on the roadway. Just imagine that. This took place in Chamfle on Saturday night. On Sunday, another man shot dead, beaten to death. Shot and beaten to death in the Arangwes area. Open up your lines, a 42-year-old. Hi, good evening. You're live. On also, ladies and gentlemen. Uh... I'm, now I'm taking you back to El Socorro. El Socorro shooting one, one dead, another injured. A 25-year-old Antonio De Ro Antonio De Roche, a Posad in El Socorro San Juan, was shot dead while one of his friends injured during a shooting incident near his home on Saturday night. Just after 9 p.m., De Roche was in the company with another man when when an assailant walked up to them and opened fire, both men were shot multiple times about their bodies. The road died at the Eric William Medical Complex in Mount His friend remained warded in a critical condition. Ladies and gentlemen, so leave it right there. You have a, a, a Rangwes businessman beaten, shot to death. Shot to death. You have a, a, a Shamfle man, come back to me. Shamfle man shot to death on the road. His, in fact, residents of Shamfle said on Saturday night they heard loud explosion. Hitting you back to El Socorro, ladies and gentlemen. Saturday night again, another man shot dead, 25-year-old Antonio De Roche of Passad Lane, shot dead. His friend is critical. We're going to take a fast break. When we come back, we'll continue.
Trinidad and Tobago is the fifth fattest nation in the world. One in every three Trinidadians are overweight. Now you can lose up to 30 pounds a month with Maximum Slim, and it's as simple as having a cup of coffee in the morning. With a patented powerful formula containing clergenic acid found only in the green coffee beans that block the absorption of fats from your body, it also contains ginseng to help maintain energy levels and heart leaf for curbing your appetite. Maximum Slim delivers maximum results fast, so pick up your box of Maximum Slim today at your nearest pharmacy. Maximum Slim. Live to the max. Come into Army Hardware today for all your building supplies from start to finish. Army Hardware is having special own friend style steel window. 4x4, 575, 4x6, 775 at all locations. So check us out today only at Army Hardware. Double Tom Guest House. You can now visit our newest location. Enter or notice with that special someone. Open 24 hours every day. Located at Rambaju Trace, Aramways. How does Omega XL reduce inflammation? Omega XL is very effective at controlling pain associated with inflammation. The studies show great results time and time again for people with joint pain. If you walk around with pain, it's creating damage. Your blood vessels, your kidneys, possibly your brain. Fight back. Get rid of pain and inflammation with Omega XL. Get your Omega XL today. Live long, stay strong with Omega XL. Fabinja Expo is back at the White Tent opposite Medford Gas Station, Shogunas, from November 11th to 27th. All new containers. Check us out for furniture, handicrafts, garments, jewelry, and many more from around the world. Food court that no one can resist. Spend $1,000 or more on links or credit card for a chance to spin to win up to $500. Ample parking and comfortable ambience. Fabinja Expo at the White Tent opposite Medford Gas Station, Shogunas, from November 11th to 27th, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Matai Imports Limited, one of the largest wholesaler and retailer for all 4x4 SUV and car accessories. Come check us out for our new arrivals on Body Kit, etc. Located at 3 Hassan Ali Trace, Lower Barkpo. Contact 289-4901-360-8773 or 484-7467. Tile Studios Relocation Sale is now on with massive discounts on all tiles with prices to meet any budget. Tile Studio has the widest range and modern designs of indoor and outdoor tiles, porcelain, medallions and mosaics. Hurry into Tile Studio, relocated to 223 Eastern Main Road, Tunapuna. Now open on Sundays. Tile Studio, your number one choice for tiles. Racetrack Wheels carries all sizes of tires. We have the latest rims in all sizes, all at drastically low prices. They are the sole distributors for Salen and Achilles Tires, the number one tire for comfort and performance. We also do blank wheels that could be drilled to your vehicle specification. It's all about new technology and keeping ahead of the game. At Racetrack Wheels, two massive locations, 330 Eastern Main Road, Aruca, and 82 Buco Road in Tobago. Or call 642-1539 or 631-1044. You are just joining us. Uh, a Rangwes businessman beaten and shot to death on Saturday. A Champlain man found dead on the Champlain on, on the Mongda Road. Bullet riddle body. Another shooting in El Socorro. 25 year old Antonio de Roche of Passad Lane shot dead. His friend is critical. Body found. And um, before we go f further, just to let you all know how far, and I tell people every day, in fact, somebody in, J in Jamaica was telling me that every day, six o'clock, Jamaica is locked down to crime watch and not only Jamaica all of the all of the islands all of the do you know how many calls I get on a daily basis people from the region and I mean from you name it government offices people who work with the prime minister of the islands are unbelievable I won't call names but they are all locked on they are locked on and they you know they are very concerned of what's happening in Trinidad but Ian we love your show but just to show you ladies and gentlemen when I, when, when I am looking for someone, when I tell you I'll get to the bottom of it, believe me, I'll get to the bottom of it. Last week, last week, what day last week? Um, last week, Friday, I put up a picture of this young man. And I said, I, if anybody can reach this guy, his mother, who took him, who saw him 35 years ago, the, his biological mother, 
And whatever happened, whatever other relatives took him and they, they left and she never saw the child again. Never, never saw the child. 35 years, never saw her child again. And she's on her dying bed. And they came to me and they said, Ian, put up this picture. I said, listen to me. When I put up that picture, believe me, something will happen. When I, when I tell you something, something will happen. That is why I tell you, when you advertise with Crime Watch, everybody, Dick Dora, Dick Dora, Harry, Nip, and Fluff, will know about you. Everybody knows about Staten Drugs. Everybody know. Everybody knows about Matai. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a relative just to report to you. Friday we did it. I have a relative on the phone to tell us, Ronald Sogrim, to tell us what went on after we aired that picture. Hi, Ronald. Good afternoon. You're live on Crime Watch. Yes, Mr. Ian. Hi, good, good afternoon. Tell me what went on. Um, Mr. Ian, well, I know my sister come to you Friday. Uh -huh. Right? And um, so find Gary short. And your driver was searching and sour for him. Uh -huh. Right? So I was giving them direction, uh -huh. but they didn't find the place. And um, I said, um, his driver said, well, we have to locate the place first before um, uh -huh. they do anything. And Friday night, I went up it, I went down sour. And I went and I looked. And before, um, in less than 35 minutes, after 35 years, I phoned Gary. Wow. I, uh, and, and the thing now, the people who I went to, this was the work of God. Right? I, I, I went to the, um, I see two persons in a gallery, and I went, I say, these people have to be there, they were there a long time. And I went and I asked them if they know. But so tell me something, say, hold on, hold on. Why did Gary not check his mother for 35 years? No, um, what gone, um, he had been taken from a baby. And he didn't know anything up to when I called him Friday night. Wait, so his mother and him re reunited. So he's in Trinidad? Yes. So he met his mother? Yes. Um, yesterday we went in the home and we found his cell phone and he, he was talking to her and she was talking to him. Right? But what's going on? But wait, listen um, to me. Listen to yeah. me. So, he, he, so did, did he see her like physically? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. So, right, this, so he, this must have been a very emotional moment. Yeah, because Gary, Gary know the lady who um, said he was um, he mother. Yeah. He know definitely that was me mother because oh he never insisted. Oh Anyway, but I'll right. call you after the program. I'll call you after the program. But we're really happy to know because we have a very tight program today. But we're yeah, really okay. happy, happy to know that you know because of we highlighting it and whatnot. Everybody got involved and started to do their thing. That is why, ladies and gentlemen. When you put up a picture, when you, you know, when you hear information here, the entire world is locked on, huh? The entire yeah. world. Thank you again. Body and found I'm floating, saying, body, body found floating in West Trinidad. Police are seeking the public assistance and then in identifying the body of a man which was found in the waters of Shaka Shakari on Saturday. The body was in a state of decomposition. The, the Coast Guard were contacted and the body were brought to, to Stubbles Bay. Where it was examined and processed by crime scene investigators. How many bodies have gone? We have seen floating, boy. Unbelievable, yeah? Come back again. Here now, man. This is news before the news, you know. Pensioner body found off priority bus route, and autopsy was expected to be performed earlier today to determine the cause of death of a 62-year-old Paul jo Joseph, who was found dead just off the priority bus route in Bangladesh, St. Joseph, which is located a stone throw away from the St. Joseph police station. This took place on Sunday, the 12th November 2017. Joseph's body was discovered around 10 a.m. by residents of the area, even though there were no visible signs of violence and the district, office, the district medical officer ordered a forensic autopsy to be conducted on Joseph to determine the cause of death. So just to let you all know, a pensioner body was found off the priority bus route. Also, ladies and gentlemen, cops sh shot by intruder in Shagonas, saved by bulletproof vest. A police constable Maraj of Shagonas police station was shot by an, an unknown assailant while responding to a report that an, uh, an assailant was spotted attempting to break into a house in Edinburgh, 500 Shagonas. Area early on Sunday morning, PC Mirage, however, escaped injury as the bullet penetrated his police issue bulletproof vest and remained lodged in the body armor. Just imagine that police responding to a call. That is why every day, every day, police officers go out, put on your bulletproof vest, 
put to on. Just imagine PC Mirage from Shagona's police station responding to a, a, a break in the, in, in the uh, Edinburgh 500 area. And imagine bandits shot at the police. Thank God he have one of us. That is why I tell you, every day, every day you go to work as a police officer, it is not a normal day. You never know when you can be confronted by bandits. So that is a wake-up call. Also, ladies and gentlemen, another woman shot. Just imagine, woman shot in Aruka now. A uh, woman shot during, rob during robbery in Aruka. A woman was shot and wounded in Aruka on Saturday, the 10th of November. During a robbery when officers believe the victim may have... Resi resisted her attacker. She was shot once in the shoulder by the suspect who quickly made his escape. This woman was shot in a robbery in Aruka. If you have any information, get in contact with me. Oh my God, where does it end? Uh, shot outside a Cura bar. Now this where the, where, where the woman was shot in Aruka, that's not related. I'm going to take you where uh, a man was shot outside a Cura bar when we come back. Your journey, our passion at Brandtech. Visit us today at number 10 Londonville Main Road, Montrose, Chaguanas, or contact us at 672-8575. Now open on Saturdays. Fabinger Expo is back at the White Tent opposite Medford Gas Station, Shogunas. From November 11th to 27th, all new containers. Check us out for furniture, handicrafts, garments, jewelry, and many more from around the world. Food court that no one can resist. Spend $1,000 or more on links or credit card for a chance to spin to win up to $500. Ample parking and comfortable ambience. Fabinger Expo at the White Tent opposite Medford Gas Station, Shogunas. From November 11th to 27th, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. How is poor diet causing inflammation? What people don't realize is things like bread, flour, carbohydrates can create problems with sugar and inflammation. Basically, sugar equals inflammation in the body. It affects your kidneys, your eyes, it affects your overall health. You need products like Omega XL to help manage that. To reduce your risk of disease, get your Omega XL today. Live long, stay strong with Omega XL. Uh, like it's out quick. Don't no, throw it out. We go get fixed with materials from Radical Trading. Come, let me show you. In here, we have Carrel Porsche, man. Radical Trading, they have materials for vehicle too. Them have everything, man. Furniture material, car covering, waterproofing for your boat. They go make everything look new. Well, I fix in my furniture and my whole house too. Help me put the furniture back inside now. Yeah, and my big mode. I want a Radica anything to cover mouth. Radica Trading, Port of Spain, Chaguanas and San Fernando. Stuff and Drugs now open at Heartland Plaza in Chaguanas. First world drugstore with best prices on drugs, vitamins, toiletries, stationery, grocery items, baby products and more. We also carry British Parliament Hilden and Water, Mara Beans imported directly from Italy, Bottle Nexium, Allegra, Zitec at half price, Gourmet Foods and Snacks. A selection of products not offered by any other pharmacy in Trinidad. So visit us today. This Christmas, for all your air conditioning units, call Nilco. We do sales, installation, service and repairs. We carry brands like Lennox as low as 2800 Comfy as low as 2400 and much more like Daikin, Mana and Delta air conditioners and inverters. Great offers on all brands. One year warranty on pads and five years on compressors. We also do central air conditioning units. Over 10 years experience in the field. Call us today at 748-4122. Neil Cool, quality brands, professional service. Also, ladies and gentlemen, shot outside Kira Bar. Victim, the, the victim that was shot outside the Kira Bar is critical. Uh, one man is nursing gunshot wound injuries following a shooting incident at a bar in Europe Friday. This took place on Friday. A group of men were lying in the vicinity of Bruce Bar along Bush Street, Europe, when they were approached by a man wearing a black cap and hoodie who opened, hitting one of the, who opened fire, hitting one of the victims. So imagine you go by a bar lying in Bush Street. Cool, cool, cool. A man just woke up in the bar, pulled out a gun, boop, 
one man shot. So ladies and gentlemen, it is a wake-up call. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, we're still looking for Indurjit Sukhdev, who has been missing since uh, October the 22nd. All right, this is a picture of the vehicle. Now, there are other pictures, huh? We move the CG bar, please. If you see this vehicle anywhere, text me on 2944081. I'm just showing you. If you see this vehicle anywhere, park in any garage, anywhere, hidden anywhere, get in contact with me. Also, ladies and gentlemen, guns and ammunition seized by police for the year. I'm just giving you some statistics. The, uh, between January the 1st and November the 3rd, police seized a total of 880 guns, uh, 12,191, and 99 live, live rounds of assorted ammunition. For 2016, police had seized a total of 765 guns and 19,543 19, live rounds of assorted ammunition. Some of you just wanted to know that. Here's a breakdown of the guns and ammunition seized by police. Point form, guns seized by police between January 1st and November 3rd in 2017. Pistol, 477. Revolvers, 214. Shotgun, 62. Submachine gun, 17. Rifles, 25. Air rifle, 4. Homemade shotgun, 38. Eh? Trap gun, 34. Modified gun, 9. Addis additional information, Pol police also arrested and charged a total of 597 persons. 539 of them were males, while 58 were females. Of the 880 guns seized for the year, 446 of them resulted in the arrest of persons, while 434 were seized without any arrest being made. Guns and ammo seized, gun, guns and ammo seized with arrest, 597. Guns and ammo seized without arrest. Female held for gun and ammo, 58. Male held for gun and ammo, 539. For 2016, police seized a total of 765 guns and 19,543 rounds of ammunition. Just giving you a breakdown of what's going on in this country. Eh? Just imagine that. Look at how much guns there is 1.2 1, 1 million people in this country. When we come back, ladies and gentlemen, we want to find out from you. We're going to take a fast break. But when we come back, Chief Justice and the convict, as the Express put it, Archie Court trying to get judges to change their security favor of close friends. There are questions we would like to ask when we come back. Yes, people, the biggest seafood shop in San Fernando is having great specials on everything. Yes, Skipper's Lobster Shop. We have the biggest shrimps, biggest scallops, all sizes lobsters. Lobsters, $50 per pound. Also, carried kingfish, flying fish, grouper, shark, crab, and much more. So next time you are looking for that fresh seafood at the best price, check out Skipper's Lobster Shop. 51 Severo Street, San Fernando, or call 378-0397. Open on Sundays till 2 p.m. You'll get hooked on us. Tile Studios relocation sale is now on with massive discounts on all tiles with prices to meet any budget. Tile Studio has the widest range and modern designs of indoor and outdoor tiles, porcelain, medallions and mosaics. Hurry into Tile Studio, relocated to 223 Eastern Main Road, Tunapuna. Now open on Sundays. Tile Studio, your number one choice for tiles. Hi, I'm Blair Underwood and I have an important message from Dr. Joycey Smith at Omega XL. Inflammation is tied into development of diabetes, vascular disease, Alzheimer's, marine oils like Omega XL greatly decrease the risk of developing these as we age. Omega XL helps relieve pain due to inflammation. Your joints, your arms, your hands, your neck, your back, your knees, you're gonna feel a lot better. I love this product on so many levels. Friends in Trinidad and Tobago, don't slow down and don't stop living. Overcome pain with Omega XL. Tire Clinic. Get the best quality tires in the country at affordable prices at our branches in Coover, Shogonis and Pleasance Park. Tire Clinic. A tire for every need. Bakery Treats is known for its great baked products and service with a smile. We offer a variety of breads, cakes and pastries. We use no preservatives or added chemicals for maintaining a healthy lifestyle. So visit us today. Put Bakery Treats on top of your shopping list.
Fabinja Expo is back at the white tent opposite Medford Gas Station Shogunas from November 11th to 27th. All new containers. Check us out for furniture, handicrafts, garments, jewelry, and many more from around the world. Food court that no one can resist. Spend $1,000 or more on links or credit card for a chance to spin to win up to $500. Ample parking and comfortable ambience. Fabinja Expo at the white tent opposite Medford Gas Station Shogunas from November 11th to 27th, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, this is before we go further, before we go further, before I go further and get into this to ask, start asking these questions. I'm looking for this young fella. There's a picture of him. Russell, could you put it up, please? Could you zoom up? Let me see his face properly. What's his name? Alex Savi. How many pictures we have of him? Put it up. Let me see when the outer glasses. Okay, and, 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 uh, Alex Savri. Come close, see the picture. Where can we find this young fella by the name of Alex Savri? Where can I find this fella by the name of Alex Savri? At one time, ladies and gentlemen, he used to live at an apartment in Chancellor. But we are looking for him. Also in the West Morin area. Alex Savri, come back to me. So remember, not forgetting, yeah? not forgetting. Because apparently, he did some transaction with some people and did indicate to them that they are and he and another man. But we spoke with the, with, the, with, the, with the other man and he said he has absolutely... But we, are, we have a picture out because we need to find this man very, very soon. All right? He has been in and out of prison in relation to fraud offenses outsmarting people, etc. But he's thin here. He's put on a lot of weight. Conman activities. But don't worry. We will find you. I will find you. People will text me tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I am sure you saw this article on the Express. Archie caught trying to get judges to change their security in favor of a close friend on the Express yesterday. That's a very serious thing. Eh? I decided today to dedicate part of my program to ask the, ask the judiciary questions, ask you, the, the citizens of this country, there are questions we would like to ask the judiciary. Because we are all concerned. If the chief justice, because the, the, the newspaper also said that he called Dylan after he met with the judges. What kind of madness is that? Dylan was the same fellow who was charged for fraud. He was the same fellow who has a, who has a, a questionable background, a questionable affiliation with certain people. Very questionable character, a character with no integrity. He, he lost his job. In fact, he was he's on suspension from Wasa. And there are questions we would like to ask, ladies and gentlemen. And I really hope that I know that members of the judiciary, they are locked on right now. Hats off to the hardworking men and women in the, in the judiciary. Let's start. On Sunday Express yesterday, ran a front page story as it relates to the Chief Justice Ivor Archie and his connection and communication with Dylan Johnson, a man who was convicted a few years ago on fraud charges. In the article, the Express dealt specifically with allegations that Archie attempted to influence Supreme Court judges during a meeting to change their state-sponsored personal security with private security. Okay? Did the chief, now I'm asking the questions today. Did the Chief Justice attempt to influence the Supreme Court judges to change their personal state sponsored security in favor of a private security firm from which his close friend and convicted felon, Dylan Johnson, works? That is what we have to ask. That is what I'm asking the Chief Justice today. And I'm asking officers and I'm asking judges, tell me. Did the Chief Justice attempt it? I'm asking this question again. On behalf of the public, the please the question the public would like to ask. Did the Chief Justice attempt to influence Supreme Court judges, judges to change their personal state-sponsored security in favor of a private security firm for which his close friend and convicted felon, David Johnson, works? 
Did Archie host a meeting with the majority of his 46 Supreme Court judges on the issue of proposed security arrangement? Did Johnson regularly accompany? And this is a question I would like to ask because he did go, Johnson did go to Guyana. Yeah? Did Johnson regularly accompany the Chief Justice on official business trip abroad? If yes, Chief Justice, if yes, what, is the, what was his capacity? Come back to me. <coughs> if Dylan went to Guyana, what business? Is Dylan a, 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 a judge? What, is he a member of the judiciary? Tell me. Is he a member? What capacity? And I think that the, and I think that the judges and the and and uh, what's this man name? <coughs> Martin Daly, senior counsel. I think Martin Daly, senior counsel, senior counsel Martin Daly. You need to give them a run now, yeah? Because the public, we are embarrassed. We are all concerned. How could the chief justice have this kind of affiliation? Have these people around him? Is Johnson a bodyguard? What is the relationship with Johnson, with Johnson, a convicted felon and the country third highest office holder? What is the relationship of Johnson? Tell me, what is the relationship of this man? Put up a picture of Johnson. Put up a picture of Johnson. What is the picture of the... Come back to me. The personal state sponsored security. The personal state sponsored security for Supreme Court judges and magistrates consists of specially and highly trained police officers from special branch and guard and emergency branch of the police service. Why Archie had concern that current police protection for his judges are inadequate? Tell me. Why? Did Archie raise such concerns with the various heads of both units of the police service before he met with the judges on this issue? And the bigger picture, he said, it is alleged that they had a meeting concerning safety because he didn't have confidence. So if the third highest office in Trinidad and Tobago don't have confidence in the police and special branch, who do I go to? Who do I go to? Is it that the police doesn't have sufficient personal posted to provide security for various judicial officers? Somebody needs to come out and tell us. What serves? What services do private security services offer to that the police service can't in relation to protecting judicial officers? Did the Chief Justice Archie speak with former Minister of National Security Bigger Carl Alfonso regarding the potential retention of private security to protect Supreme Court judges? Why did Archie want to get rid of highly specially trained police officers to protect judicial officers and replace them with a private security firm which it is alleged that his friend Dylan Johnson was a consultant for? Is a consultant for? Why did the Chief Justice meet and discuss his issues as it relates to the security of Supreme Court judges with Dylan Johnson, a man who has been convicted of fraud which involved the use of forged letters involving the names of involving the names of Justice David Harris, who was then a magistrate, now retired magistrate, Maureen Babulal Gafur. But tell me something, and I'm staying on that. Why did the Chief Justice meet and discuss? The newspaper said he met and discussed. What again this man didn't discuss with Delon? What again? How could, so then, which means to say, everybody business in the road. Birds of a feather flock together. Show me your friends and I will tell you who you are. And we must understand that. Issues of security for judicial officers, judges, magistrates, is a very serious thing. And it is alleged he discussed that with. I am, I am not saying that. It came out on this. On the express, on the express. And nobody's really taking... I, I don't think you understand. That is why today I've decided to ask questions. I have decided to ask questions. I'm going back with it. Why did Chief Justice meet and discuss issues as it relates to the security of Supreme Court judges with Dylan Johnson, a man who has been convicted of fraud 
which involved the use of forged letters. What other conversation did the Chief Justice have with Dylan Johnson as it relates to the matter of the state? What other conversation you had with this man? If you could discuss, if it is alleged you all discuss security about judges, what again, what discussion again you would have with this man? But today I want to ask, I want to ask that question today. Did anybody discuss anything about $11 million relating to extradition? Did anybody, I am asking, I'm just asking questions. Did anybody have time to discuss $11 million relating to extradition? Did anybody discuss any matters before magistrates? That anybody could have called the magistrate and influenced their decision. Did anybody discuss that? But today, ladies and gentlemen, these are the questions we would like to ask on behalf of the public. Did action of the Chief Justice compromise did the action of the Chief Justice compromise the integrity of the judiciary and the safety of its, of its judges? Did the Chief Justice in any way influence any lenient sentence? And this is what I want to find out. Did the Chief Justice, because I know Dylan was charged, so I'm asking the question, did, did, did the Chief Justice in any way influence the lenient sentence handed to Johnson when he was convicted and fined after pleading guilty on two counts of fraud involving two judicial officers? Is Johnson a member of the security department of the, of the judiciary? Why discuss that with him? What again, all you did not discuss. And when people talk, all you vex. Is Johnson, a, whatever granted, was he ever granted employment at the judiciary on a contract basis? This is what I want to find out. Come back to me. This is what I want to find out, ladies and gentlemen. Was the Chief Justice aware that his friend Johnson was, his, was convicted and fined by a court on charges of uttering a forged document bearing the names and signature of two judicial officers. How could you have a friend like that? How could friend like that come and meet friend in, friend in Guyana? How could friend like that be your consultant? How you, how you could ask a man like that to come and protect judges? How you could do that? And you are telling me that there are people leaving this alone? And I must hush. Before we go further, the reaction of the Chief Justice, again I am asking you, again, the entire judiciary is in dispute. People have no confidence in the, in, in the judiciary. Because when you can see Chief Justice, the third highest, highest holder of his soul in the nation, with a bandit and a felon, would I get justice when I go to court? Let's take a break. The rainy season is here, so be weather smart and change your tires to handle the nation's wet roads. After all, you don't want to be the one to cause any accidents, do you? So why not check out Racetrack Wheels right now? We have the latest rims in all sizes, all at drastically low prices. So be weather smart this season and change your tires right now at Racetrack Wheels. Two massive locations, 330 Eastern Main Road, Aruca, and 82 Buco Road in Tobago. Or call 642-1539 or 631-1044. Be weather smart. Namalco Construction Services Limited is one of the largest construction companies in Trinidad and Tobago. We have been in operation since 1998, serving both the public and private sectors with the largest fleet of modern equipment to undertake projects of any capacity. Our services include civil engineering work, road paving and repairs, land development and infrastructure work, rental of heavy and small equipment, transportation services and lots more. Call 651-0074 or 651-0080. Zero. How does Omega XL reduce inflammation? Omega XL is very effective at controlling pain associated with inflammation. The studies show great results time and time again for people with joint pain. If you walk around with pain, it's creating damage. Your blood vessels, your kidneys, possibly your brain. Fight back. Get rid of pain and inflammation with Omega XL. Get your Omega XL today. Live long, stay strong with Omega XL.
This is the final extension. Definitely closing on Monday, 23rd October. Fire India, India Expo. Expo. Matai Imports Limited, one of the largest wholesaler and retailer for all 4x4 SUV and car accessories. Come check us out for our new arrivals on Body Kit, etc. Located at 3 Hassan Ali Trace, Lower Barkpo. Contact 289 4901 360 or 484 Looking for that great dining experience? Then check out Wingwa Chinese Restaurant. Great ambience, delicious Chinese dishes, desserts, alcohol, and non alcoholic beverages. Whether it's takeaway, day or night dining, we cater for all occasions with secured parking. We also cater for birthdays, parties, meetings, weddings, anniversaries and many more events. Visit us at Lot 2 and 3 Eastern Main Road, Champlain, Mount Hope or call 662-2194 or 221-5799. If you are looking for something special at the supermarket, well, you don't have to worry. Check out Super Quality Supermarket where there's always something special in your trolley. Three massive branches. Number 47, Tissue Drive, Trinity. Number 98, Endeavor Road, Chaguanas. And Coover Main Road next to Republic Banks. Ladies and gentlemen, just that the questions asked, just that the questions asked on the express, no response from Archie. Good morning, Honorable Chief, uh, Chief Archie, Chief Justice Archie. Archie today, Wednesday, blah, blah, blah. But did, did, did you discuss security arrangement for judges with Dylan Johnson, oh, who is a consultant with the Fortress Security? No response. So I'm asking questions just like them. Um, Dylan got a house in, in, in Talparo. How did he get that house? Did anybody influence influence HDC in getting that house? And speaking about HDC, anybody know who's Kern? I'm looking for a gentleman by the name of Kern. Is this man known to anybody? Put up his picture. I'm looking for Kern. A man by the name of Kern who worked at Wasa once. Kern is his name. Apparently he was a supervisor. But we did... In fact, I don't want to say what went on. I ain't going to come out with that as yet. I'm holding back on that. But today, I'm just asking questions. And I'm, go I'm, I'm going to... Who is Dylan Johnson? Dylan is it. I'm just telling you who is this man. Put up the photo. Who is Dylan Johnson? Ladies and gentlemen, just to let you know, Johnson is a 35-year-old man with a dress in Gasparilla, Lockdown, and Chaguanas. This is the man. He was arrested and charged with fraud in 2007 by PC Dipchen of the Fraud Squad. In June 17, 2008, he was convicted and slapped with a fine after he pleaded guilty of two counts of uttering fraud documents bearing the names of magistrate. Now, unanswered question. This, now, these are unanswered questions. Senior employee at WASA, currently on suspension, pending an investigation allegation that he instructed junior employees to conduct private work in which he was billed. Employees, it goes on to say, employee at the Public Transport Corporation. But before unanswered, a senior employee at WASA, did he ever lays, did he ever with lays, did Dylan, jo, did Dylan Johnson ever lays with, with, a sitting member of parliament who was attached to us, a sitting member of parliament. That's all I want to find out. A sitting member of parliament. What went on at Wasa? So if he was a, if, if he was a junior, then somebody senior, come back to me, somebody senior, because he was a, he, he was on suspension, yeah? Senior, senior employee at WASA currently on suspension pending an investigation and allegation that he instructed junior employee conduct private work. Who Dylan was taking instructions from? That is the bigger picture. He was also an employee of the Public Transport Corporation Service. He's an employee there. I don't know if he's a current employee. But it is alleged, ladies and gentlemen, that he being, a, a, he being attached to PTSC did work closely with a, a, a political appointee a senior manager, Dylan and that man seem to be very, very good friends. Very, very good friends, ladies and gentlemen. Attempted to gain employment at AGC using forged documents. 
Person of interest following the October the 5th, October 5th, 2015 murder of Derek Hooker, Wasser Senior Manager of Operations. I'm just telling you some of the unanswered questions that we would like to know. They said he was a suspect. This is Hooker here. We have a photo. This is, this is Mr. Hooker. Hooker. Shot dead. Shot dead. The same gentleman, the same gentleman, Dylan Joseph, was also a suspect. A person of interest. He said, sorry, person of interest. Just to apologize there. Person of interest. Also, another unanswered question. Who is an, an, an individual who formerly worked at, as a WASA supervisor named Kern? Who was the person named Kern? Somebody needs to text me on my 294-4081. What is the connection between Dylan Johnson and Kern? What is the connection between Dylan Johnson and Kern? If Dylan also employed at, PT, at PTSE, how did he get such employment with two fraud documents, two fraud conviction to his name? How, so how he got through to PTSE and got all these big jobs when he had that to his name? Tell me. When even after that, when even after that, he lays with the Chief Justice. He allegedly lays with the Chief Justice. How a man with that kind of conviction could be friends, I mean, I don't understand. I really, really don't understand. Today I want to ask a question. I want to ask a question. And I'm throwing this out. I'm throwing this out to any judicial officer. Anybody, did you all ever spend a night in Gasparillo? Did anybody ever spend a night in Gasparillo? Does anybody know about 11 million in connection with extradition? Tell me. It is alleged, ladies and gentlemen, that the man Kern, the man Kern, from Wasa, ladies and gentlemen, has incriminating photographs. Kern. Anybody knows Kern from Wasa? Apparently, anyhow, it is alleged he also worked Caribbean Airlines in Tobago. Could you tell me who goes to the Asha's? Bacon shark in Maracas. Who likes, I mean, somebody needs to tell me what exactly is going on in this country. Eh? Now, let me tell you something. I have no issue with anybody's sexual orientation. I'll be honest with you here. That is not the issue here. That, that is not the issue. And somebody said it well on Facebook. Can't remember the person name, they said it well. We need to deal with the issues. The issue is this front page here. Chief Justice and the convict. That is a serious thing. Why, ladies and gentlemen, why I'm like this today is that why they were looking, what are the days that the Express tried to contact Dillon? What are the days? Somebody tell me, what are the days? The second, what is? There are days they try to contact Dylan Johnson. All right? I'm going to take a fast break. When I come back, I want to show you something. That I did, I did, I met with Dylan Johnson at my studio. I'm not just operating with a photograph. I had a one more than an hour discussion with Johnson. More than one hour Thursday with Johnson. Today is also Dylan Johnson birthday. Do you know that? Today, happy birthday to this man, Dylan Johnson. Today is his birthday. Friday, he was having drinks in town. When we come back, ladies and gentlemen, well, everybody was looking for this man. I just, I just want to let you all know, I had almost a two hours meeting with him 
in my studio. I'm just going to show you a little video when we come back. Your journey, our passion at Brandtech. Visit us today at number 10 Londonville Main Road, Montrose, Chaguanas, or contact us at 672 8575. Now open on Saturdays. Definitely closing on Monday, 23rd October. Fire India, India Expo. Expo. How does Omega XL reduce inflammation? Omega XL is very effective at controlling pain associated with inflammation. The studies show great results time and time again for people with joint pain. If you walk around with pain, it's creating damage. Your blood vessels, your kidneys, possibly your brain. Fight back. Get rid of pain and inflammation with Omega XL. Get your Omega XL today. Live long, stay strong with Omega XL. This Christmas, for all your air conditioning units, call Nilco. We do sales, installation, service, and repairs. We carry brands like Lennox as low as 2800, Comfy as low as 2400, and much more like Daikin, Mana, and Delta air conditioners and inverters. Great offers on all brands. One year warranty on pads and five years on compressors. We also do central air conditioning units. Over 10 years experience in the field. Call us today at 748-4122. Neil Cool, quality brands, professional service. Double Palm Guest House. You can now visit our newest location. Enter or notice with that special someone. Open 24 hours every day. Located at Rambaju Trace, Aramways. Come into RMA Hardware today for all your building supplies from start to finish. RMA Hardware is having special own friend style steel window 4x4, 575, 4x6, 775 at all locations. So check us out today only at RMA Hardware. So, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you all know, these are the unanswered questions. We really like to know. I could, nobody can understand, and I'm just like, just like the express. There are, uh, there are unanswered questions. We would like, I can't, I can't understand. It is alleged, I mean, the express said, if he had, if the Chief Justice had a call with Dylan Joseph, Dylan Joseph has a track record, a very questionable track record. How could you, he can be a consultant for Fortress, but I dare and their business, I am not on Fortress. But how could the, the person with third office holder in Trinidad and Tobago, highest office holder, the third highest office holder in Trinidad and Tobago, lays with this person here? And let me tell you something. You see this picture here? You see this picture here? This picture here, ladies and gentlemen, was taken out in Guyana. Maybe the express didn't know that. It was the hat. Now come back to me. Now, that hat, ladies and gentlemen, I had a long talk with Dylan. That hat belongs to, um, because they were having drinks, so they had, no, there's a hat with him, a hat on and having drinks. But I wonder, today I ask, who signed, who signed the tab as they brought drinks to the room? What room was it sent? What room did the drinks, the drinks at the Marriott, what room was it sent to? Did who, in fact, who signed the tab? So with that, they, they had an open tab so they could order drinks, order lobster, order whatever rum, order whatever, drink, you all drink, have a good time. The whole nine yards. 
Who signed that tab? Now, that, that hat you're looking at there, it's a headpiece belonging to the Guyana police force, yeah? That had nothing to do with fortress, yeah? Now, I'm showing you a picture. Now, come back to me. I'm showing you a picture of the police uniform in Guyana. Zoom up. Right. Look at the headpiece. These are police officers in Guyana. All right? These are police officers in Guyana. So which means to say, while they were having drinks, and while the police were guarding who and who, they were fanning around, and that is how Dylan ended up having on this hat in the room. Because there's a hat with him, that is how we ended up with that hat. Because that picture was taken out in Guyana. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't have to look for anyone, you know. But, it but people come and look for me. This is not long time. This is not long time. But today I will tell you something. Money is power. But I tell you this on national television. Information is greater. On Friday, ladies and gentlemen, someone called me and said, after highlighting all these things and so, someone called me and said that certain people had intentions of putting money in my bank account. I told them, I said, anybody put money in my bank account? I will call the police and tell them I'm not you know, racketing with nobody. Don't put no money. As much as I want, and I want to fix my studio, we want to buy equipment and we ask for your support. You see, that back and out thing, I'm not in that. Because I refuse to let anybody put money in my account. Because I got a call that certain people asked if we, if we could put something in the account. I said, no, 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 no. I contacted the bank and I went personally. And I said, if anybody deposit any large money into my account, I told them, call me immediately. So nobody was going to take God out of their thoughts to go in my bank account and put no money that day. Back to, Joe, back to Dylan. So while the express was looking for Dylan, Dylan was right here in my studio. I had a long talk with him. Very, very long talk. And look at him there. No audio. I'm just showing you. That is Dylan and I. See Dylan there? That is Dylan and I talking inside my studio on one of the set. And you'll realize it's not, it, it's not a, a still shot, yeah? It is not a still shot. It is not a still shot. You watch movements. Also, ladies and gentlemen, you realize I had a meeting with him for two hours. And look, while I was chatting, look, Dylan folded his arms and he was listening. Dylan is in the blue jersey. Look at Dylan in the blue jersey. You see Dylan in the back? When he pose, that is Dylan in the middle. Look, Dylan in the middle. That is Gangadin there. Look at Dylan in the middle. So, ladies and gentlemen, I was just chatting. But just to let you all know that I did meet with Dylan. And just like everybody else, there are unanswered questions. And we need, to, we need to find out. Now, you might think about coming with letter and coming with this and coming with that. Well, sue everybody. Because just like everybody, there are, there are unanswered questions. Many unanswered questions. And today, I ask questions. I want to ask questions. I want to ask questions. And it's not a matter I'm mashing up anybody. I don't know. We, we asked the question today. When Dylan, Dylan sentence and whatnot, did anybody have any influence? I mean, we're concerned because knowing that he has that kind of attachment to the judiciary and access to the third highest office, office holder, there's plenty ranks. There's real ranks. 
And that is a cause of serious concern. That is a cause of serious, serious concern. And today I ask if there were matters, if there were matters before any magistrate, what about if Dylan maybe could have contacted them and let them know, well, Dick and Laura going up before you? Ting, ting, ting. We don't know. I don't know. Who could have influenced the magistrate decision? I don't know. I am fully aware. Dylan told me with his own mouth that he paid for tickets to go and he went the day before. He said that. He said that. But nevertheless, what a man like this has to do with the security of the judges. Open up the lines. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I put it down today. I can be, listen to me, I can be called, you can call me anything. But I tell you this today, nobody can call me a con man and a con artist. Nobody. And I don't care, I can't be bought. I still want to find out about who caused murder. How they murder that man? Who murdered that man? Who said, um, Derek Hooker, who did that? Who left a woman widow? Who left children fatherless? A father of six children, fatherless today. Worked 32 years at, at, at Wasa and then get gone down just so. Mere days, yeah. Tell me, who was the who was the PTSC manager, political appointee, to go down and see lots and share set a thing and organize protests? Tell me. You see how today this, yeah? Did 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 Dylan, did Dylan and the bigger picture is that Dylan taking instructions and putting on road and putting water here. He's not a madman. He don't have that kind of ranks to put water in a back road, run pipe, so run pipe. I don't know how much pipe he was running. But he's not a madman to run water, so run water, so. To do something like that, you have to have permission from the, uh, somebody who's in charge, a, a big Sawati in Wasa. The Dylan lays with any MP. This Dylan lays with a sitting MP right now. Did he receive instruction from an MP? Dylan need to come out and tell the nation what's going on. Dylan, do not be the fall guy. You need to come out and tell the nation what is going on. Somebody sent me a document to ask the question, what about 11 million? Ask about 11 million. Who wanted money up front? Tell me. Open up the lines. Hi, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Yeah, good evening, Ian. Yeah. This is a trend because Marlene bringing some, um, and this man in Parliament, this man bringing it up. So what will be running on Monday then? Thanks again. You want to make sure to have your butt, your hands on that tip of that button for me, please. And the caller is right. You see, you see the concern of the caller? Judicial officers that are locked on right now. You see the, the are, are, are you seeing the concerns of the caller? But then again, but then again, do you know Dylan told me that he and Berkey are they, they are friends? Dylan and Berkey are friends. It is alleged that when Dylan uh, that, that is alleged that the said Dylan was able to go into Silas to take people into Silas. That is what Dylan told me. That is what Dylan told me. But I am waiting. I am waiting. I have more, but I am waiting. Let sleeping dogs lie tonight. I am waiting. I am waiting. You feel it? They wouldn't go after the expert, but they would say, you know what? Let's go after Ian Allen. Not this time. 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 These are questions I would like to ask. And if the Chief Justice is holding the, the third highest office in the land, he has right to ask. He has right to answer. Answer these questions. Martin Daly, senior counsel Martin Daly, need to ask these questions. You need to come out and speak. May I have a press conference and tell the nation, tell the citizens that depend on the court. What is really going on? People already don't have no confidence in the government. They have no confidence in Rowley. 
They have no confidence in the minister, our work minister health. Our only confidence right, our only hope is the judiciary. That is our only hope right now. And that is the only thing holding up this whole country right now. That is the only institution that is holding up this entire country. That it is a mayhem here yet. And when things like this going on, and people like this entering and, 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 and lazing with people inside the judiciary, questions must be asked. And nobody can get vexed and say, sue this one, sue that one, and pick up a lawyer and say, send him a letter, do this, do that. It wouldn't go down like that. I'm sorry to tell you, it wouldn't go down like that. We have, listen to me, questions. We just want to know. Hi, good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Good evening, good evening, Mr. Allen. Good evening. Mr. Allen, you know, I, I like what you're doing, but you have to keep doing this every day of this week. Yeah. To raise the issues. And until somebody talks, even Dylan has to talk, or the minister, or somebody has to talk. Let me tell you why Dylan has to talk. Let me tell you why Dylan has to talk. Because he's the same man. I don't want to, look, I don't want to add in Keep your ad. Keep your ad. By letting everybody know. The same man. The same man who was attached to, 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 to PTSC, the same head honcho, and Dylan was drinking Friday night. They were drinking Friday night, and they tell me to come. I say, me? Mm -mm, I got it. I not on that, because I already smell that rat. I already smell that rat. And that is why, I have, that is why I tell you now, people can go out and talk about me. Me are stopping nobody from talking you now. You will only stop somebody from talking if they have something on you. You understand? They will only stop... Some somebody needs to tell us if it had racket in, P in PTSD too. I wonder, you ask Dylan if he ever do any racketing in PTSD for people. Because I can't understand why certain people making sure Dylan did not talk to me over the weekend when Dylan was supposed to speak with me on Saturday and Sunday. They come with all kind of ball. But don't beat up God or sleep. Mark bus tonight, people will come out and talk. Kern will come out and tell me who, what the pictures is all about. Because somebody already sent me some pictures already. But I'm coming out with it just now. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I don't want to see nobody naked. And I don't want to see nobody naked. And bending down and taking off and opening a suitcase. That I have nothing. Anybody can do that. I don't care about that. People naked. People bare back by a pool and a computer. That make no sense. But I saw somebody... And Dylan showed me a photograph. Anyhow, we're going to leave that right there. We're going to leave that right there. Let's take a call. Next caller. So, ladies and gentlemen, just to let you all know, it is not a matter it have private, it it have privacy in a public place. That is no different when Beyonce or when any celebrity go into a movie town. Or you, they, 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 or, they, or you take out a camera and start a tape and want to charge me for that? No! You cannot do that. And I have, I have asked my attorneys, I have asked attorney Gerard Ramdin and other attorneys to review the document because I'm not going down that road. I'm not, you cannot shut me up like that. I did nothing wrong. I took out a camera and I tape. You understand? Today, today there are questions to be asked and we will ask it. We will ask it. And we are not going to be intimidated and nobody will use their position to, to, to find no lawyer to hurt up my head because not this time. If I go down, everybody going down. Because I, I am a... Let me tell you something. Hmm. Boy. Not this time, man. Not this time. Ladies and gentlemen, we run of this program is tonight at 10 o'clock, 1.30 to tomorrow. You can review this program on, on Ian Allen, live stream. Good night. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're going to hunt you down. We're going to hunt you down. We're gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds for crime Much if you really, really wanna stop crime Be safe on your home, be safe in the streets It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat I never wear gold, cause summer's always beeping by the fans It's still crime, much came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new the king Take me
money on the phone, see them call us We ain't gon' call you back 